This morning in the Springer Mountain Farms kitchen, Chef Anthony Frank from the Chattanooga is joining us to create a fabulous rotisserie dish. Good morning, Chef. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we are excited because I love a rotisserie chicken. So talk us through what we're doing okay, today. Okay, so uh, what we have here is a Springer Mountain chicken, and it's all natural, uh, which I uh, am very fond of. Uh, no uh, added uh, salts or uh, pumping is what they call mm -hmm. it. So um, us as uh, cooks, we have caused the industry to kind of change because of this 165 degree that we have to cook a chicken to. Right. So they add water to it so that it always stays moist. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we do is we take this beautiful chicken and it won't dry out because we brine it. So we make a brine out of salt, sugar, water, uh, some fresh rosemary, lemon juice, mm -hmm. and some black pepper. Qualms. Yum. Well, that sounds great. And so and we have one brining. Brining, and it brines for 24 hours. Yum. And so I have one right here, and I'm going to take it out of the brine. Now, this is an example of a dish that's available um, at the Chattanooga. Yes, it uh, is. Tell us a little bit about where we can get so this. So you can uh, find this at the, in the foundry, our gastropub. Uh, we've reinvented um, what we are, and we're doing um, some fun bar food with some entrees. So we have this chicken. We let it sit for a couple of seconds mm -hmm. just to, to dry. Let him acclimate to the yes. environment. <laughs> and then we add um, this wonderful spice rub. Uh, it's uh, some uh, rosemary, salt, pepper, garlic salt, onion powder, uh, it smells chili great. flakes, uh, just all sorts of wonderful stuff. And you want to make sure, because it's roti, you want to make sure it's all over the bird. Uh, top, bottom, and what's so great about a roti is that it uh, actually bastes itself. So when mm -hmm. one bird is dripping uh, its wonderful flavory, flavored juices out to uh, of it as it cooks, it's dripping down it drips, the drips other, down yeah. onto the other birds, and it just becomes this wonderful uh, carousel of flavor. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's ready to go. You let that sit for maybe like five minutes. Okay. And then we um, we go to uh, Skewer it, and then we put them in the roti, and it takes anywhere between, depending on how many birds we're cooking, anywhere between two to three hours to finish. So it's a real nice slow cook. It, it, it stays juicy because we've now added um, that wonderful seasoned uh, liquid to it by sitting in tw for 24 hours. You brought one with you. I did bring one with me. And over here I have some uh, confit potatoes. Uh, we use fingerling potatoes. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what we do is we... Uh, Top them with a olive oil and canola oil blend, yeah. uh, rosemary, garlic, shallots, and fresh thyme, salt and pepper, right in the oil, and then uh, you bring it up to a simmer, uh, then shut it down and just leave it in that oil, and that oil is probably around 220, 250 degrees, about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and they're perfectly done. Perfect. And one of the things, uh, you know, olive oil and canola oils, they're expensive, you mm -hmm. know, as you think about it, but we... We reuse uh, all this product. Um, so as I saute my uh, green beans and my garlic, uh, I'm going to uh, use the oil from the potatoes. Well, that makes sense. Absolutely. So you're going to heat your skillet, and then you're going to add some of mm -hmm. that. Some um, of this wonderfully flavored um, oil blend, olive oil and canola blend. When you saute, it's in, it's in, it's sauteing and technique is mm -hmm to cook in a little bit of fat at a high heat. And when you saute garlic, you, you get this really, really strong f smell and flavor mm -hmm. in the beginning. But as it cooks down a little bit, you get this mild, wonderful, uh, almost toasty uh, flavor to uh, the garlic. If you put it in now, if I put the green beans in now, they would taste like raw garlic. Right. But um, as we cook these down, as we cook this down, and just get a little bit of caramel on the outside of the garlic, you, you change the whole flavor profile. And as you look right now, you can see how it's just caramelizing mm -hmm. on the outside. You add your green beans in there, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. So how long do we need to cook our green the beans? The green beans are just warming because I already blanched them. And Perfect. when you blanch, what you do is you put your green beans in boiling salted water. Mm -hmm. um, you cook them until they start to turn bright green. You take them out and you throw them in ice water. Perfect. And then what that does is it, we call it setting the chlorophyll. So it sets the green so that you can actually rewarm them. You can actually even caramelize these and, and give them a little browning on the mm -hmm. outside of them before they turn that 
gray mm -hmm. color. And these are done. Those look great because that olive oil kind of gives them an extra shininess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just looking at them and saying, you know, and it just looks extra yummy. <laughs> we use everything in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, so we take uh, all the birds because we have to cook these since they take three to plus hours sometimes to cook. Mm -hmm. And we have some leftover. So we take the, um, the leftover. We pick it off the bone and we use that on our salad. So mm -hmm. if you order uh, one of our wonderful salads, a uh, chopped salad or whatever it may be, uh, we, if you order chicken as, a, as, a, as an add-on, we're actually using this wonderful uh, rotisserie. We're also practicing to see if they fry well. Oh, so cool. I hear that it's pretty cool to, you know, dredge them a little bit know. and deep fat <laughs> fry them uh, the next day to bring them back up to temperature. Uh, we, uh, and, uh, and then we take all the bones and we make a wonderful chicken jus. So we're trying mm. to say southern, mm -hmm. so we're using musc muscadine grape and um, the roasted chicken bones and a stock, Perfect. and we make this wonderful jus. How do we need to get in touch with you if we want to talk to you about maybe doing an event or something also? Oh, uh, you call um, our, our direct line and ask for either our catering department or our sales department and we'll, uh, we'll get right with you. You can call directly to either the Broad Street Grill or the Foundry and uh, we'll be able to um, put you in the right, uh, right, right, point you in the right direction. All right, Chef Anthony, thanks so much for joining oh, us. Thank you.